Okay. So we just wrapped up our um, wellness series with Miss Marsha Thompson on spiritual and emotional wellness. And so we wanted to do a follow-up interview with her. She did an awesome job. She did a great job. Um, she was fluid in just what she was able to share and was able to connect very well to those that were participating in the workshop. So we wanted to just do a follow-up interview and ask her a few questions about herself and be able to share more insight into who she is and what she does. So Miss Marsha, can you just do a formal introduction of who you are? Sure. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, I am Marsha Thompson. I am a certified Christian life coach. I am a counselor. I am a wife, mother. I am a pastor. Uh, all of those things, I am. I enjoy pouring into people and to see people grow. People moving, getting unstuck and moving forward in their lives. I, I love that. Uh, whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, whether it's male or female, I just love to see people bl blossom, bloom, and go forward in what they thought that they couldn't do. I just love seeing that and just being a part of that journey. Um, you want me to talk about the business now? Well, yeah. Um, so speaking of what you love to do, you have a company called Inspired Life. Um, yeah. And in the interest of the word inspired, let us know what inspired, <laughs> inspired <laughs> life, and then a little bit more about what you do with Inspired Life. Believe it or not, um, the name came Years and years ago, uh, while I was in uh, undergrad school, um, it came out of a project that we were asked to do. And I was given that name by the Lord because there's been so many people in my life that inspired me, including my parents. Um, and, you know, now my husband, my children, friends, people in my church, my whole life seems to be a life that came out of different inspirations, if you will. Um, I served in the church from a teenager up to now, um, different capacity, Sunday school mm -hmm. teacher, Sunday school secretary, you know, uh, musician, uh, singer, all of those different things, but they were inspired. And so when I look back over my life, that's the name that came up. And so I had that project and I had it put in a folder in my office here at home. And then a few years ago, the Lord said, it's time to bring the folder out. And I knew it was time to start this business and start mm -hmm. to pouring out what had been poured into me. And when I began to start thinking, well, which way do I go? How do I even start? In the folder was everything. Mm -hmm. It was a vision. I had written out a vision. I had written out a, a business plan, a purpose, a strategy, all of that, and the name. And I was like, God, you knew ahead of time. Of course, he always does what I was going to need and when I was going to need it. And so that's how this came about. Awesome. Awesome. That's how he works. It's weird. It, it, in a good way, weird mm -hmm. how he mm -hmm. operates. And we don't, it's like we're putting the, he guides us to put the pieces together before it's all put together instead of causing us to scramble and try to put everything together at the last minute. And then you look back and you're like, wow, I didn't even realize I had all of this all here at the exactly. time. So what do you do with Inspired Life? Uh, Inspired Life, uh, we, we uh, set it up whereby uh, people can feel comfortable and when I say comfortable, I don't use that loosely. I want them to feel safe and to come in and to share with people, uh, to share with me right now um, as the, the head coach, the head counselor. Um, they come in, we talk. We began to, I feel like that God has a way of do, doing things. And God is the, is the uh, ultimate strategist. And so he gives us a strategy as to how to get to what he has created us to do and to be. And so I give this, uh, I provide a setting, if you will, 
where people come in at first and they uh, have a free consultation. We'll talk about what it is that they uh, have, you know, primarily on their minds, what they want to work on. And let's build from there. You know, we'll talk about what could be a hindrance from you, what it's been, why now, why you want to talk about, deal with this now, and what what do you want to get out of this? So I start helping them. Uh, a coach always takes you forward. And my tagline for Inspired Life is inspiring you forward. I want to take people from where they are now to the next place. And so that's how, and then we'll sit down and we'll begin to develop their individualized plan as to what we got the strategy. Now let's begin to start working. Mm-hmm. And I give them, you know, let them know what the expectations are from me and for what I expect from them. And then we celebrate the victories along the way. And it's just a great journey. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's ask a fun question. What are you, what are your current inspirations? What have you been inspired by or who have you been inspired by lately? Um, I've been inspired by, um, you know, different women in my life. Um, I've been inspired by my husband who has a tremendous story, personal story himself. And the Lord himself is the one that's keeping me encouraged. And, you know, he's the one. And when I, people don't have to put, uh, share their information, as I said before. And then they really don't have to come back and let you know how they're doing. And so every time a child comes back and says, you said this, or look at what I'm doing, look at my grades, or I'm going to high school now. Or they show me a video and say that I got my uh, GD. Those kind of things keeps me inspired. So uh-huh. even at times that I may feel a little tired and wonder, is this worth it? Is this am I making a difference? Yes. Though every time some the Lord would send somebody back to say, Yeah, you're making a difference. And I'm one of those people. It's a blessing. Yeah. So I'm looking at the services that you offer. You offer an individual coaching, group coaching, mm-hmm. personal development, relationship coaching, Christian coaching, and grief support. Um, yes. Can you talk a little bit about the personal development? What, like if a person was going to come into the services and say, I need personal development, what that might look like for a person? Uh, personal development would look like um, someone that's saying, you know, I'm really in need of, um, doing some other things in my life, but I have some, I struggle with Mm self-confidence. And so I want to feel more confident about myself. I want to not compare myself to other people. I have had some failures. I have had some setbacks. However, you know, I want to move forward, but I, I have this fear of failure. Some people even have a fear of success. So help me get from that place to where I need to go. So we'll, you know, we'll begin to talk about what and list the things that you've already achieved so that I can help you uh, move forward. So I see myself as a a Christian coach running alongside of that person on their journey, going down the field. And when they get tired and worn out, I'm the one that's saying, okay, come on. We can do this. We can make it. We're going to get to the finish line. I'm the one that celebrates you and helped you through the areas where you had a little setback. Okay, this is a setback. Well, what did we learn from that? You know, where? How can we grow from that? We don't. We don't um, waste moments. We don't waste anything that happens to us in life. So, how can we take advantage of that? And then we do. And then you can see almost like the uh, the light bulb go off. Say, yeah, I did do that. Oh, yeah, I can learn that from this. So then we'll move on. And that can help in their personal development. Uh, for me, when I uh, started out, I had fear of failure. Uh, when I wanted to return to school, um, I went back to school. But when I went to back to school, I was in my 50s. Mm-hmm. 
And so I had to, the thing that inspired me is sometimes my own life, you know, that keeps me going. So when someone says, I want to work on this, I want to go back to school, but I feel like I'm too old. No, you're not. It's never too late. And so always learning, always moving, um, always trying to stay inspired. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And as we get ready to wrap up, um, can you share your contact information? But before you share that, like how somebody would get in contact with you, just let us know, what is your favorite food? What's your go-to food? What you like to eat? <laughs> I love shrimp. I love <laughs> shrimp. I love seafood. Yes, yes. You, My friends know that when I'm going to a restaurant with them, that she's going to look for something with shrimp. Now, I love chicken. And I love fried chicken and the things that I shouldn't be loving, but I do. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but sometimes when I go out, I like to have that shrimp. I like to have that seafood, um, um, the lobster and stuff like that. I, I do. I love seafood. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And so how can we get in contact with you if somebody wants to reach out and say, I need some life coaching? And um, I would love for an inspired life to coach me. Well, we have a website and I want to make sure because I have so many uh, taglines here, but we do have a website and I want to give you that so that you can be able, uh, my email address is um, inspiredlifecc at gmail.com. Uh, so that's one way that you can reach out to me and just say, hey, I just want to talk to you more before because sometimes people need a little more information. So before I commit to this, can I just talk to you one on one? Just one you second. You mentioned the uh, free consultation. Yes, they can contact me and for the free consultation there in the consultation. We'll talk about what's going on, uh, what I'm you know, what they're looking for. Um, to what goal they're looking to reach. So we'll talk about that. We'll also talk about how we can get to that goal and the services that I offer, that I provide and let them know, any, answer any questions that they have. It is a no judgment zone. It is a confidential thing, whether it's, it's uh, the free consultation or not. We can get to talk and find out. And usually, Usually the Lord will begin to start talking to me about what to do and the strategy to, in which to um, go. Okay. And we'll usually start from there. Awesome. So um, the website is inspiredlifellc.com. Okay. That is the website. So you can go to that. Uh, I gave you the Gmail account, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I am also on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And that is inspired life underscore CC. And you will see me there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank have you. Last words um, as we wrap up the interview. Um, we want to tackle the stigma about us as people, as Christians, that, you know, it's a lack of faith when we need to talk to somebody when we go to counseling. Uh, and that is so far from the truth. The scripture tells us in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. It's good to talk to people. Iron sharpens iron. We need each other. In order for us the best, to be the best person that God has created us to be, sometimes we need to talk just to move a little further than where we currently are. And so, that's why I try to make it an inspired life, a safe environment for a person to feel like that when they left my office, whether it's virtual or in person, that I felt better and I can do this. So, yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Again, you guys can find Miss Marsha and in Inspired Life at inspiredlifellc.com. Um, and again, thank you and have a great day. Thank you, you too, Tangela.